Remember, you are not to blame. From my viewpoint, I should report this to the president of the university. What do you have to say to this? Dr. Asher, I'm... It's an upsetting thing to come by these days. Two people, a younger man and an older woman who look as if to be getting to know each other better. No, I... I know. It's... Crazy the way the world treats relationships these days. People must be punished for what is upsetting to society. You must report them. Please, I, 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 I'm. But all I see is a man going after something he truly desires love. True love. And you know, the thing about the campus computers is they sometimes just, just fucking crash. You know, get spammed by callers. It's, it really pisses me off. The university's a bunch of cheapskates. Look, what you do in your personal life is your own business. My job is to keep you intact and passing your classes. And you seem all right and a bit off, maybe, but if you commit yourself, you can bounce back. I'm not a fan of intruding on students' personal lives, so I'm letting this go on a couple of conditions. We don't see this relationship 24-7 on campus, and for the love of God, please just get your shit together in your classes. I don't want to see you in here any more than you need to be here, okay? Okay. Okay. Now get out. Aren't we friends? I thought friends trusted each other through thick and thin. You wouldn't understand. Oh, that's right, because I'm your little minion here that's supposed to follow orders. Is that what you think of me? Well, guess what? I haven't abandoned you. I've stuck by your side, helped you, and you didn't even tell me. You told me half of the story, and you didn't want to tell me the rest. I had to find out from other people. I didn't want to believe it because it's so unlike you to hide secrets. You've changed. You can't hide in the shadows and think everybody will notice. Do you want to lose? No, I... Because it looks like... I want to! Do you remember you and Addison? Huh? Oh. You do. You can't forget that moment. Breathe! I need to breathe. Your violence won't help you. I'll see you later. Daniel! Wait! There you are! Hey! You okay? Yeah, I, I was... Uh... Is the meeting a lot to handle? Hey, it's okay. It's all in the past now. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Put this on. Walk a little faster pace, please. You try walking while blindfolded. Please tell me this is in an alley. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Here we go.
on. Paradise. What's wrong? Messing my muse. Stand in front of me. Now, look cute. I love you, Nia. What? I said, I love you, Nia. No. No, you don't. You, you can't love me. You, I'm not a good person to be with. I'm, I'm, I'm older than you. And I'm a professor that you know. And it was love at first sight. Don't hide from what you know is true. I'm not worried about what others will think. As long as I have you, I'm happy. From what I can see, you are apparently too scared to open up. You haven't taken charge and shown anybody who you truly are. You... You're a coward. I'm, I'm sorry. That was too far. All I'm good for is hurting people. I think it's best if you leave. Ah, Jordy, my boy. I have hit the jackpot for us tonight. Look, it's steak and potatoes, your favorite, of course. Not even 
you gonna ask for? Well, it's for dessert. It's cheesecake. Jordan? Dominic, please help me as I pray tonight. I just pray for any courage and wisdom and strength you can give me. Help me understand your son. Are you enjoying this, this game? Congrats though, you're winning. It's funny how you give me shit about my life, yet you seem to be doing the same. Is it a game, Jordan? Just reality. You should try being a part of it. I've been a part of it long enough to understand all it gives is pain. You haven't even experienced pain. You've only felt it. Witnessed it. Jordy, get in here now. You see this? You know what this is? A piece of paper. <laughs> oh, so you're trying to be a wise guy now, huh? A jokester, perhaps? <laughs> Jordy, this is serious. I come home every day thinking that you're a valedictorian student. He's seeing a bright future for you, following in the family footsteps. Now I see this. Do you care to explain? There's nothing to explain. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're each living our own lives, our own stories. You may be disappointed, you may be so devastated. All I see is a bunch of letters on a piece of paper with the so-called president of the college saying, your son or child is not on the same page of where we need him to be. Oh, and a crappy signature. This isn't you, Jordy. Not one bit. You used to have dedication, passion. You had confidence in your work. You studied hard, day in and day out. Jordy, you're gonna have a bad reputation. You are going to make yourself a laughing stock. Now, for the love of God, what is going on with you lately? You want to know what's up? I'm sorry? Did I stutter? Did I stutter? Fine. Here! I'm done. I'm done with this. Stupid fucking bullshit. 
actuarial science is the stupidest bullshit ass major I've ever encountered in my life. Why do I have to be in depth with more numbers? I already know the basics to survive in life. Why do I have to torture myself with this bullshit? You know why I never opened up in the first place? Because I don't want to be treated like that life insurance book you hate! Sorry, Craig. I was trying to prove a point. Just tape it up with some cardboard to cover up the hole. This means nothing to me anymore. I want to be an artist, Grandpa. I don't want to wake up 10 years from now doing something that makes me feel like I'm being pierced by needles. I want to wake up every day to something that warms my heart. Those nights that you thought I was studying, I wasn't. I was out with this girl, this amazing woman. I didn't want to tell you about her because she's older than me. She's in her 30s. She means the world to me. But our fears of opening up to show the world that I'm hers and she's mine will never happen. She's gone now. I am very disappointed. But not about you hating actuarial science, not at all. But about you not telling me the truth. I'm family. And family is what family is, but family is your center and circle of strength. Nothing could destroy that, but now I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to. Nobody wants to. I might as well isolate myself for good! Again? Wait, Jordy. Where are you off to, son? A surprise for Jordy? Whatever it is, I know he will love it. Your violence won't help you. I love you, Nia. All I'm good for. Is hurting people. Thank you.